So about a week ago, we looked at uh, Wario Land, the color hack, and I mentioned how in an emulator it looked very different than how it looked on the screen on my Game Boy Color. And several of you pointed out that most Game Boy Color emulators these days have something called Game Boy Color color correction, um, sometimes accurate color. And depending on the emulator, or in my case the core that you're using in RetroArch, it may or may not be turned on by default, but most of the cores have this option. So if we hit F1 here, bring up the quick menu, and we go down to core options, uh, and then we go to video, we'll see here it's called GBC color correction, and by default it's turned on to this modern accurate, but we can turn it off. And now we get something a little more saturated, a little more vibrant, that looks a little bit more like my Game Boy Color with the IPS screen, and we will compare that later and take a look and see how that actually looks side by side. Now here's harsh reality, which is kind of funny. <laughs> really undersaturates the color and and uh, washes out the contrast. Um, you know, to somebody, this is what a Game Boy Color looks like. And if you grew up playing a lot of Game Boy Color and you want to sort of emulate that look, you can. I don't want to do that. <laughs> we'll see how that looks compared to a real Game Boy Color, though. So yeah, these options are there, and, um, you know, I should have known. There's always lots of options with emulators. Kind of the point of an emulator, right? You can set it up how you want, and there's lots of options that you can tweak. So here you can see side by side, this is with the color correction off on the left, and it's on like the balanced mode on the right, which I think is the default. And here it is next to my Game Boy Color with the color correction off in the emulator. And it's pretty close. Keep in mind, different screens are going to look different, and different cameras are going to look different when you're videoing the screen, so it's never going to look exact. And there's the washed out um, harsh reality next to a real uh, stock Game Boy Color with the stock screen. The real thing actually looks a little more saturated in the sky. But we're also blaring a white LED, you know, bright white LED light on that, so... Again, different conditions it's going to look different, different cameras it's going to look different, and different screens it's going to look different. It's going to look different on your screen than it does on mine. Um, so it's almost impossible to get the exact right color. There are going to be such subtle differences. And you can try and tweak it and get it as close as you want, but at the end of the day, it's how you want it to look and what looks good to you. And I kind of just prefer having it off. Or at the very least on the balanced. Um, certainly, I do not want to play it like this. With, you know, harsh reality. <laughs> And honestly, that may not even look 100% accurate. Nothing will be, so just set it how you like and play it that way. 